Recently, I have been arranging regular play dates for the little boy I hang out with and have been hanging out with for many years now, so I know him quite well, my good, good friend. In the past, I have had a lot of experience working with children in large groups in the preschool setting, but the place I live in now is quite small, so two children and two adults is really all I feel I can successfully have as guests in my little apartment at any one time. Same goes for the backyard. But the space is just right for four people. This particular limitation has offered me an interesting opportunity to watch how interacting with each child affects this little boy whom I know so well, my good, good friend. And they do affect him quite differently in this wonderful balancing way. Different things come up as he plays one-on-one -on -one with each child. And then I am there and the mother of the other child is there too to help the children through whatever bumps happen as well as to express delight at how well they are playing together. I have a range of toys to play with so it is interesting to see how what is available in the environment affects the children's interactions with each other. And it is also interesting to watch as each child, as an individual, brings his or her personal interest to the experience. And I go with that, watching what they are naturally interested in and offering suggestions based on what they are naturally interested in. And then there are the moms. They have the particular things they are interested in too, which affects their relationship with me and my boy, as well as their relationship with their own child. And the moms have their stuff too, as we all do. We all have the baggage that gets accumulated throughout our lives. You know, the pain and joy and all the things we have learned or have not learned along the way. So I watch and respond to the needs of the moms too, which makes for a very rich experience for me and I hope for everyone else as well. So we are all becoming good, good friends. Interacting with others affects how we choose to behave. Interacting with others affects how we choose to behave. Interacting with others affects how we choose to behave. This goes for everyone, children and adults alike. So it is important to choose carefully the people we surround ourselves with because those people are a big part of the path leading to the person we become and continue becoming. Yes, who we are is never static. It is important to be aware that other people affect who we are as individuals. We cannot avoid this. Even if we choose to go off and live alone and never see another person, people are affecting us in memories and in loneliness. People need people. Of course, it is possible to love everyone and relate to everyone from a place of loving compassion, but it is best not to bring everyone close. Those we choose to share intimately with on a regular basis need to be chosen very carefully, for they can bring out the best in us or the worst. They can lift us up or bring us down. They can support us or destroy us. <laughs>